can't imagine how you must be feeling. But I do know that it's all going to work itself out. She's always been there for you. Always looked out for you. And you've always loved her. Defended her when no one else would. It's going to take a while. I mean, months, years maybe, but I... I think one day all this is going to be OK. Do you honestly think I've given her a second thought? I know you must be worried about the baby. I'm not worried about the baby. There was only one thing. One. And that's Dean. And what he did to you. I can live with what he did to me. But what I can't live with, what I could never live with, is everybody knowing what he did to me. And if you can't control your anger, then people will find out. You know, the kids, the kids will find out. Please, Peg. You ain't gonna worry about me. I promise. In here. Running away again. Think that'll help? I'm not wanted here. Can you blame them? I haven't finished with you yet. Sit. Been trying to think back, piece it all together. Do you remember the day you brought him home? Pig of a day, rain bucketing down. Your mum. Got out the car with Mick and came straight inside. But not you. You stood by the car, rain pouring down, just standing there. And I thought, in all my days, I'd never seen anyone look so unhappy. I don't blame you for not telling me then. But after your mother left... How could I? Mick was the only thing that made you smile. After what happened in the bath, Dad, I couldn't trust myself anymore. I hurt him like I hurt everyone. And I figured out that it would be best that he had a mum that wasn't there rather than have a mum like me. If your mum had a full set of marbles, I'd tear her apart for what she'd done to you. It wasn't all her fault. She didn't even want me to do it at first. Babe. 